Sit down, Mr. Dent. It is Mr. Dent I am talking to, right? Use a real name. True face, if you wish. Please, sit. What is it strange? Not happy just arresting us, throwing us in this place. I wish to understand you. I have read the reports, seen the footage, and now I want to hear your side of the story. <laughs> we'll see. I assume that you feel the need to toss your coin in order to decide whether to answer my questions. You ready to find out? Well? Came up bad. Sorry. Not a problem. Guard, take Mr. Dent's coin off of him. No! Good. Now let us see what fate has in store for you. I'll kill you for this. Really? Look at your coin. It wants you to tell me about that day in the courtroom. It was painful. Elaborate. I was naive. I thought I could make a difference. Falcone was going to go down for what he had done. But he had other plans. Look at my face! I am. A combination of first, second, and third degree burning. Mm, the scar tissue is quite fascinating. You think? And that is all it took to make you the way you are. Give me my coin. Not yet. What is it strange? Are you enjoying this? Not in the slightest. Let's go back further. You were a rising star, a beacon of light for this city. A white knight riding in to save it with a dark knight not far behind. You can leave him out of this. He's wrong. They all are. No one understands the beauty of fate's hand. I'm grateful to Falcone. He gave me a clarity, a purity that few will know. Everything boils down to a simple choice. This way or that way. Good or bad. Do you really believe that? How could I not? Interesting. So all you need is this coin, and everything is simple? Give me it. Or uh, what about this coin? Or this? Or these? <laughs> What are you doing? Proving a point. Fate didn't make you answer my question. I did. I replaced your coin with my own. See, you answered me because I wanted you to. How is he today? The prisoner has been quiet. Since getting those coins, he has spent most of his time examining them. Good. Hello, Harvey. Are you ready to talk? Leave us. We don't want to talk. Not to you. Please, take a seat. I have one last thing to discuss, and then I will give you something in return. I don't know. I can't decide. It's too confusing. Of course it is. I want to talk about Mr. Wayne. Why? Indulge me. We don't like a guy. Hardly surprising. Did you ever consider that you were alike? A traumatic event created you. An equally traumatic event altered him. He's nothing like us. There's no risk, no danger. It's just money and girls. We should kill him. Maybe you should. Listen to me, Harvey. I am going to give you a simple choice. This is your coin. Is it? Why should I trust you? It was your father's, correct? You know every inch of it. When you close your eyes, you can feel it, can't you? Give me it. Please. I want you to understand what I'm about to tell you. You believe that this coin determines the fate of your world. I, however, believe that your condition has always been present. It was there before you were attacked, and it is still there now. You probably had headaches. Your wife found you unpredictable. Scary sometimes. Give us it! I'm going to throw the coin in the air. If you let it fall, 
I will do whatever I can to cure you. I will help you become the man you used to be. Or if you grab it, I will let you loose in Arkham City. And I will tell you what Catwoman is doing right this second. I can't decide. You have to. Mm. At this moment, Catwoman is preparing to steal the contents of the safe in your old campaign office. The bitch. We need to stop her. And you may. Goodbye, Mr. Dent. Mr. Mayor, everything is under control, I promise you. It's not that I don't trust you, Hugo. It's just, it's just the headaches, the pain. They come all the time now. Continue to take the medication. But it is late, Mr. Mayor. You are tired. You need your sleep. Of course, I need my sleep. You will hang up now. I will hang up now. Imbecile. I couldn't have put it better myself. What? How dare you enter my office? Oh, I'm not in your office. And please don't insult me by attempting to trace this broadcast. You will fail. I take it I am talking to Mr. Edward Nigma. Do you know of any other inmate in your twisted little penitentiary who is ingenious enough to arrange this little chat? Narcissism. A compulsive desire to prove his intellect and a predilection for riddles. You've read my file. Of course. Good. Then let's get started. How do you attempt to understand what is going on in Arkham City when all of the answers are strange? Good evening, Hugo. I believe it is time for our one-on-one. -on -one. No. It is time for you to stop this and give up. My tiger guards will find you, and when that happens, I will perform the procedure on you myself. Procedure? Oh, you mean what you did to all those poor fools back at the asylum. To be honest, I think you did them a favor. How do you... How do I know that you requested access to all the most forgettable patients and proceeded to melt their brains with the help of that confused milliner? Or did you mean... How do I know that you have been providing the ex-warden with your own special medication? No doubt intended to render his synapses more malleable to your suggestions. Or maybe you are currently wondering if I know about the secret panel in your closet. How it slides back to reveal what you want most. How you sit, wearing that suit, crying into your hands as you question whether you are really worthy. What do you want, Mr. Nigma? Oh, that's easy. I want exactly what you want. And what's that? Batman, dead. Humiliated, but dead. Knock, knock, Professor. Guess who? I grow tired of these insipid games, Mr. Nigma. If you wish to speak to me, my guards will escort you safely to my tower. Please, Hugo. If you're going to set a trap, at least pretend to try harder than that. No traps, Edward. I simply wish to grant you safe passage through Arkham City. I think the time has come for us to meet as equals. You, Strange? My equal? I am the man whose cunning will soon have Batman lying at my feet, bloodied and broken. Really? Then I will pull off his mask and look into his dull, dying eyes. In that last instant, he will know that I have finally beaten him. And I will finally know who he really is. My apologies, Edward. I see now we are nowhere near equals. Finally. You see, like me, you are obsessed with the Batman. But unlike me, you don't know who he really is, do you? What? I know you are lying, Strange. There is no way that you could have figured it out. It's some kind of trick. It must be. Oh, I use no tricks. No childish puzzles. I simply created a psychological profile of the man most likely to be the Batman. 
and then matched it against the most logical candidate. I was right, of course. Well, who is he? Ah, but that would spoil the game for you, wouldn't it? You must tell me. I implore you, Strange. I... Really, Edward, if I could figure it out, it must be child's play for you. But I... I... Interesting. Tell me, Edward, how is the Riddler like a blank dictionary? You're both at a loss for words. We found the prisoner attempting to break into your office, sir. I see. Leave us. Yes, sir. Well, well, as I live and breathe, Professor Hugo Strange. Your posters really don't do you justice. You really are far more evil-looking in real life. Charmed. Tell me, what do you plan to do, Miss Kyle? I assume that you were attempting to break into my office in order to retrieve your ill-gotten gains. You stole them from me. Hardly. The items were confiscated upon your arrest. Yeah, about that. This holiday camp of yours is quaint and all, Hugo. But I don't think I'll be staying too long. Escape is impossible. A girl loves a challenge. So do I. Tell me, what would you do if I let you go? Attempt to escape? Try and find the confiscated items? Contact the Batman? Why would I contact him? It's his fault I'm in here. Is it? I believe you would have escaped if greed had not got the better of you. He was actually in the process of rescuing you, was he not? I didn't need his help. Or any man's, it appears. Come on. You're going somewhere with this? Spit it out. I've been studying you. I can see. My eyes are up here, by the way. Very amusing. Tell me, what was it like growing up alone? Fending for yourself? Doing whatever was necessary to stay alive? Please, I'm tearing up here. And Holly, what would you do if I sent my men after her? Touch her and you're dead. Have you calmed down yet? Where is she? That depends on your next answer. If you could save one person tonight, who would it be? Holly? Or the Batman? He can look after himself. Good. Holly is safe for now. Let us talk about Batman. What do you think I can tell you that you don't already know? You've been sending your goons after him for months. He said you were studying him. So you speak. Good. You never knew your father, correct? Enough, Strange. This is over. If you say so. Captain, do you have the girl in your sights? Yes, sir. Kill her. No! Are you prepared to talk? I thought so. Keep the girl targeted, Captain. You bastard. Shall we continue? Your father... Did you ever meet him? Never knew the son of a bitch. Unfortunate. He certainly seems to have made an impact on you. The distrust of men, for example. Your relationship with Batman, would you call it close? Me and the brooding one get along just fine. But you want more. <laughs> but you can't trust men, can you? What? Look, he's spoken for. He must be. How else could he resist all this? You are both very similar, aren't you? A shared disregard for the law, a belief that you are doing the right thing, and a similar taste in attire. But beneath the surface, there is a weakness. Like how? You both risk everything for a chance at redemption. You tell yourself it's to help her. He does the same for the boy. It's all just to make his life more complete, to become the father he never knew. You don't know anything about him. And neither do you. 
He hasn't confided in you because he doesn't trust you. And it hurts, doesn't it? I touched a raw nerve, didn't I? Are you still here? You're hurt because he knows who you are. But you don't know anything about him. Do you love him? No! <laughs> Holly is safe. I have little interest in the life of a teenage delinquent. Unless, of course, she finds herself in my facility. What was all this about, Strange? Do you enjoy making people beg? Not at all. I am only interested in what makes people do what they do. Soon you will not have to worry about the Batman. Steal what you like, do what you must in a futile attempt to steal his heart. You will fail. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Plans are afoot, Miss Kyle. Soon you may wish to reevaluate your admiration for him. I will be the one standing over his body, and the world will know that Hugo Strange is better than him. Yeah, whatever. Two-Face has placed what you are looking for in his safe in his old campaign office. He is someone else who cannot let go of his past. I hope that the contents of that safe make you happy. Did I ever tell you about my first kill, Batman? No? As I am sure you are aware, my parents... Patient interview one. Subject's name, Jervis Tetch, a.k.a. the Mad Hatter. Brought to Arkham Asylum by the Batman six months ago. Patient exhibits signs of obsessive compulsion and paranoid schizophrenia. Sit down, Mr. Tetch. But it's not time to sit. I need Alice. Where is my Alice? Please. No time to sit, not time to chat. I'm searching for Alice and I've lost my head. Guard, restrain Mr. Tetch. Get off me. Get off me. I'm late. I'm running out of time, Alice. Where are you? Alice isn't here yet. Just relax, Jervis. She will be here soon. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> well, but when... Now, would you like some tea? Is Alice here yet? No, I'm afraid not. Let us talk while we wait. You and I have much in common, Jervis. Really? Do you know Alice too? Unfortunately not. You and I both share an interest in the mind, do we not? I studied your papers, Jervis. You are quite brilliant. Truly an extraordinary mind. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all just chemicals and synapses and rabbits and... Oh, where is Alice? You need to focus. Think about your work for a minute. You theorize that there is no such thing as free will, that you can change a man's allegiances, his motives, emotions, all of what we believe makes a man with chemicals. Your formula was really quite brilliant. That's why I used it. Well, how did you get it? Did Alice give it to you? Wicked girl. Nasty little thing. Is she here yet? Soon, Jervis, soon. Is she? Oh, you told me that Alice would be here. She is, Jervis. She's right here. Alice? Alice, come out. Don't pout. Don't make me shout. Alice, come out. Where are you? Take a look at the pictures, Jervis. Oh, 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 oh. Who, who are these people? Look again. Oh, I, 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 I don't know who they are. Oh, please, is Alice here or not? Look at the first picture. Look at the dress she is wearing. Look at the hair. It's Alice, isn't it? 
No, no, no. You can't be Alice. Alice has nice yellow hair. And he isn't covered in blood. I think you know exactly who this is, Mr. Tetch. I think you remember the night you lured Stephanie Williams back to your research lab. How you offered her tea. What happened then? No, no, no. You killed her, no. didn't you? No. She went no. first. It's okay, Jervis. It's all right to remember. How many Alices were there? I, I can't remember. <laughs> Well, Alice isn't coming, is she? That all depends on how you cooperate. I have a little side project that I'm working on. I could use your help. My help? I can't help. I'll be late. Stay focused, Jervis. This facility is old, tired, full of ghosts. Ghosts? A figure of speech. Do not worry. Arkham Asylum will not exist forever. Its techniques are old, its mission outdated. I intend to create a new Arkham, an Arkham that will rise phoenix-like from the ashes of this one. Is there a fire? We should get out of here. I have arranged for some documents to be left in your cell. They outline a technique I propose to control the mind of... Uh, Shall we just say, weaker souls? I cannot do it without rabbits. I need rabbits for my research and tea and... And Alice, I know. I have arranged for a number of test subjects to be at your disposal. They have been here at Arkham for so many years that no one will miss them. Shall we meet again next week? Oh, and I took the liberty of having your hats returned. I assume that will provide all the encouragement you require. Well done, well done. I must say you have outperformed even my wildest expectations. Yes, did you see the people at my tea party? They all behaved themselves. <laughs> yes, they did, Jervis. I'm very pleased. I have just one last request to make of you. You must keep it a secret. Can you keep a secret, Jervis? With enough hats, I can stop people remembering secrets. Does that count? It will have to. I need you to pay a visit to Warden Sharp. He needs to come around to my way of thinking. <gasps> to join our tea party? Exactly. I don't want to. Of course you do. How else will you get to play with Alice? What? I have a new assistant for you, Jervis. I had her brought in specially. Look at her. She's just through there. Oh, it's Alice. She's here. No, no, what are you doing? I need to see her. And you can, as soon as you do what I asked. Can I keep her? Of course. She'll be all yours. She's Alice.